Oh, what's up guys uh, welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll be talking about none other than the buzzing base chain so this is a new blockchain that is uh, actually incubated by coinbase it's uh, built using the optimism op stack and uh, it's really been the buzz in the crypto space currently a lot of projects migrating to base and uh, there's also rumors that there could be a uh, coinbase or base airdrop at some point so what i want to do in this video is actually just to give you a good rundown on uh, all things a base ecosystem and also give you a step by step guide on how you can actually uh, bridge assets to the base network and on top of that i want to introduce you to a really interesting meme coin project that's also launching or launched on base called uh, gecko way and uh, this is not a video you guys want to miss out on so make sure you stick a ride through till the end of this review and this guide and uh, also make sure you head on over to our main site centralized don't use make sure you hit that like and subscribe button let's get into base network and this amazing meme coin project that's launched on base that you don't want to miss out on yeah okay before we jump into the tutorial the step-by-step -step guide of how to actually use the base network which is a coinbase's ethereum layer 2 solution on optimism we need to just uh, talk about how this gateway to the next gen crypto world actually works so effectively base is uh, just a secure economical developer centric ethereum layer 2 solution which is designed to usher in the next billion uh, on-chain users so for those who are new to cryptocurrencies or digital assets uh, the ethereum blockchain uh, is effective and as great as it is in terms of uh, all the inroads that is made all the way since its inception somewhere around 2014 until now we've got uh, really deep ecosystems built on ethereum including pretty much the majority of the DeFi space the one thing that ethereum did fail to deliver on was uh, scalability on chain which is what actually ushered in a lot of these uh, uh, layer two solutions to try to sort of uh, solve this scaling problem where you had uh, small block sizes and uh, you could only effectively uh, transact uh, minimal times uh, uh, per second or per minute on these blockchains okay so this is why you have alternative layer two solutions such as avalanche uh, polygon optimism being one of those and so many others okay so base itself was actually launched with the support of our coinbase and it's on a mission to do uh centralize uh gradually over time since of course uh it is no uh secret here that it's probably not fully decentralized at this point but according to the team they are committed to the ethos of decentralization and uh, they see this as the cornerstone of building everything that's all inclusive in terms of uh, a sustainable global crypto economy so base has actually swiftly uh, emerged also as a key player among uh, this crowded field of ethereum layer 2 solutions that i've been talking about and it's standing shoulder to shoulder with uh, industry for uh, front runners such as uh, arbitrum optimism zk sync starknet immutable x uh, loop ring metis polygon and a lot of these other layer two solutions okay so within just days of actual um launch uh we saw that base actually ascended into the top five in terms of uh, the total value locked and uh, effectively quantifying the assets transitioned into uh the network and actively engaged uh within this uh app uh ecosystem so posting uh also an impressive uh sort of a uh, uh total volume locked at the moment over 300 million way over that base is actually sort of quickly also seized approximately two percent or more of this uh, staggering 10 billion uh that is uh scattered around these layer two networks 
And uh, this is especially notable when you are sort of uh, compared to the TVLs of our leading contenders such as Arbitrum and Optimism who actually dominate in the two, uh, 5 billion uh, as far as Arbitrum is concerned in 2 billion as far as uh, Optimism is concerned as far as this uh, total volume that's locked into these networks. And the platform has already become uh, a bit of a bustling hub for uh, hundreds of uh, decentralized applications and service providers. This also includes key players in the DeFi landscape, including Uniswap, SushiSwap, a balance of decentralized exchanges along with Aave, uh, which is a borrowing and lending service, not to mention wallet providers such as uh, Exodus as well as Trust Wallet, uh, Brave, uh, and uh, as well of these, uh, as well as um, some of these uh, pivotal infrastructure services like uh, DRPC, Anansen, the Graph, and Etherscan, also becoming part of this base ecosystem. So one particular uh, base application that was gaining significant traction recently, I don't know if you guys caught wind of that, is the social platform called Friend.Tech. And uh, there are also other newer projects such as the one that I want to talk to you today about, which is Gateway. It's uh, just uh, effectively a uh, next generation uh, meme coin project that is uh, blending cutting edge uh, meme coin technology with the values uh, that are defined by ancient Gecko mythology, uh, such as unity, wisdom, prosperity. So uh, more on Gecko Way and Gecko tokens in just a second. But uh, let's talk about why anyone would even choose to um, use base as the Ethereum uh, layer two solution. So imagine uh, Ethereum layer two that is uh, seamlessly combining scalability, uh, security, and also stability, creating an optimal sort of a landscape for your decentralized applications. This is what BASE is aiming to do, empowering you to actually effortlessly roll out any Ethereum uh, virtual machine code and attract users and assets as well uh, from uh, Ethereum layer ones and uh, Coinbase and various other compatible um, chains as well. So over 100K of ETH has already been bridged over to base to date with close to 200 in total value bridged already, uh, according to June Analytics, which is quite a staggering amount considering where we are in the market cycle right now. Okay, it's, uh, it's a bit of a, it's been a protracted bear market. And uh, guess what, you know, at the end of the day, you also see that uh, base is offering you the power a packed EVM infrastructure at a mere fraction of the cost of the typical cost and you can actually get a head start as well by accessing cutting edge Ethereum features such as account abstraction or ERC4337 standards, uh, hassle-free uh, developer APIs and also gasless transactions and uh, all these revolutionary smart contract wallets. So BASE is open source and uh, it has this architectural marvel that's uh, built on the MIT licensed OP stack and developed in partnership with Optimism. The base team is actually proud to be the second core dev team collaborating on OP stack. And uh, they seemed uh, also committed to making it uh, a universally available public good. And in addition to this, if you're a dApp developer, uh, you can also leverage base to effortlessly integrate uh, with Coinbase's expansive suite of products and uh, an expansive user base. And you'll be able to enjoy uh, streamlined Coinbase connections, effortless fiat conversions, and also direct access to a global community of verified uh, Coinbase users. So how do you then actually seamlessly integrate base network with your wallet. This is what we'll be talking about in this next segment. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to actually get started to explore the base ecosystem by showing you how to purchase my favorite meme coin on base. As I mentioned earlier, Gekkoway is the uh, project and it has a token ticker Gecko and uh, it's an ecosystem that's also building on building on base and it's a meme coin project inspired by this uh, Balinese mythology where geckos are revered as messengers and blessings of uh, symbols of prosperity and these adorable little creatures with their sort of ninja-like agility and this, you know, sacred hotline between the divine and us mortals. They are spiritual middlemen and uh, connecting mother nature with the cosmos and bringing abundant prosperity. There's no better way to kind of uh, devise a, a meme coin, but on uh, such uh, sort of uh, 
noble uh, sort of uh, mythology and ethos. So the Gecko token itself is an open source a project. It's a peer-to-peer -peer digital meme token designed to put a smile on your face. What I really like is that the team is very clear that the way of the Gecko is also like a community of friends living in uh, abundantly uh, pro prosperous life in uh, harmony with nature and uh, you know uh, having this uh, little bit of fun with memes and the reason why I love this project is because you know they are very honest with the intentions that they are creating a feel-good community that will help expand the basic system and uh, we all know that uh, meme coins have become a cultural significance in the crypto industry love them or hate them meme coins will never go away i used to be one of those people who used to swear that i'd never purchase meme coins but now i've been in the crypto market for more than eight years and I dabble, a I dabble a little bit, like very <laughs> rarely do I ever purchase a meme coin. The last meme coin I touched was uh, Don't Buy Inu because I just felt like what the guys were doing was pretty fun and I wanted to support such a project. And now I actually also saw that uh, Gekoway is uh, building on base and they have a really simple sort of uh, value proposition for users. So, you know, what you need to know is obviously that they are planning this fair launch, 100% fair, no pre-sales, no whales, no BS. They have locked liquidity, so totally uh, secure trading environments with no rug pulls, just a fair launch in level playing field, the gecko way, right? So zero fees as well, maximizing your profit in this cost-free environment. It's a community-driven project and decisions are made through this decentralized governance structure that they're building around that. They have a total max supply of about 500 million, which is great compared to other meme coin projects out there with billions of tokens in circulation, which actually just dilutes and limits the upside price momentum. In my opinion, Gecko does embody a more holistic and community-driven concept. And Gecko Way does also present this uh, uh, idea of a store of prosperity with Gecko tokens. You know, you'll be living this uh, Gecko um, ethos of humor, prosperity, unity, diversity, respect for nature and empowerment. It's just pretty much like a badge of honor that represents a deeper and more meaningful connection between cryptocurrency and community values, especially within the digital asset ecosystem. And Gecko smart contracts as well have undergone audits by reputable third party firms to ensure that they're robust and secure according to the team. Their development team follows best practices for contract de uh, deployment and maintenance. And uh, I'm not a developer myself, but you guys will be able to uh, go check out their white paper in more details just to kind of uh, get to understand what these guys are working on. They also have a really nice roadmap. They're saying that the future is just the beginning right now, outlining uh, plans for the future, including ecosystem expansion partnerships, community driven initiatives, etc. So let make sure you go to get away uh, to their main website and uh, also make sure you check out all of their social platforms. I'll leave links in the description so you guys can follow through on that. But ultimately, uh, Gecko Way and the Gecko Token is more than just a meme, right? It's a movement. Uh, the way of the Gecko is about uh, embodying this unity, diversity, and prosperity. And through blockchain technology, Gecko Tokens will be empowering uh, individuals and communities, providing a space for building shared values and making a better world the Gecko Way. So now I'm going to show you how this all ties into what I made this uh, video initially to be about understanding the base ecosystem and actually how to use or bridge assets to the base chain. So I just thought, why not do that? Talking about this uh, meme coin project that's on base that I will purchase coins for so you can see how it actually works. So if you want to know how to buy Gecko tokens, this is a step-by-step -step guide. The initial setup is, you know, if you are a user of the Coinbase wallet already, just open your Coinbase uh, wallet browser extension, sign in, sync that uh, with an app or uh, using your Coinbase wallet, head over to the network icon at the top, right and click it or pick base from the list and voila, you know, uh, your active network has now actually been transitioned to base just like that. But from other EVM compatible wallets like MetaMask, which is what I'll be using in this video today, just make sure you install MetaMask, go to metamask.io, install the MetaMask uh, extension if you haven't done so already, and then navigate to the browser extension, click open, okay. 
and then you'll be able to access the drop down menu at the top and click hit uh, or you know just um, uh, add the network button right and then you'll be able to see there you got uh, uh, linear, arbitrum, etc., etc. You can then add your network manually. Uh, add base is the easiest way. Populate uh, the following details for base mainnet. So uh, the network name needs to be base mainnet, and uh, also you've got that uh, new RPC URL, which is uh, uh, mainnet.base.org, and the chain ID is eight four. Five, three. The currency symbol is ETH because that's an underlying asset there on the base chain. Explorer is base uh, scan, which is uh, the block explorer for base. Okay, make sure you click save if you want to know. Uh, the step by step guide is also in the description, just so you can follow through the actual article uh, that I've also published on our main site. So you guys can find it much easier to follow the steps if you can't keep up with the pace of the video. But make sure you click save, and now you'll be able to be uh, actually engaging with the base ecosystem as you can see here the network has been added successfully uh, and i can switch to base and uh, now i can copy my wallet address open my metamask and copy my address so that i can send tokens from another wallet so i can send them to my metamask in the ethereum network and then i will be able to bridge them to base right this is what we're trying to do in this video to show you how to bridge these assets so proceed to fund your account Add ETH to your MetaMask wallet. Make sure you're aware of which network you're on. Transfer ETH from your exchange account or from another wallet. Uh, you know, it could be another non-custodial software wallet, whatever you've got. Make sure you check your wallet address. In this demonstration, we'll be moving ETH from the Ethereum network into our wallet, then bridging that Ethereum to base network, okay? So if you've never used a Web3 wallet or bridged assets between different networks, no need to panic. Start with a small test transaction, and then once you've mastered the process, you'll be able to make your intended purchase, big or small, okay? In this example, I'm just going to show you using this test transaction because I had to create a new wallet so that you know it's easier for us to follow through uh like you're just a beginner okay so and also you know not just so that i i can buy these uh, uh gecko tokens and uh, add them to my uh, already uh, uh my small bag of gecko that i already hold and i'm hoping you know something will happen with this project like i've seen on a lot of uh, uh sort of networks is always some I mean, Coin project, whether it was the BRC on uh, the uh, Bitcoin network, when uh, all these uh, NFTs started to come there, and you saw what happened even with Pepe Coin and all of this sort of stuff. So I just thought, hey, why not have a little bit of fun and get involved with Gecko? I like uh, kind of uh, the ethos of what they stand for. So I'm going to transfer some ETH from another wallet to my MetaMask. So you can see here. Uh, I'm just doing a test transaction first. So you can use um, your MetaMask or any other wallet that you think is a simple Web3 wallet. MetaMask seems to be easier for me. So you can see here my balance is zero because I wanted to make sure I do this live for you. So I'm using this wallet uh, for this tutorial. You guys follow step by step. When I refresh, uh, refresh my wallet, you see I did send some uh, coins from my other wallet. You can see the Ethereum has been received here. And uh, now that I have some Ethereum in my MetaMask, I'll be able to bridge that Ethereum to the base network. The base bridge is what you will be using. It allows you to bridge ETH from Ethereum to base and vice versa. You can move funds uh, to base network, which is this Ethereum layer two, simply visiting either base.org, you can go to basescan.org, or you can also use Uniswap, okay? So as you can see here, I connected my uh, MetaMask wallet and uh, to the bridge and then uh, make sure that I connect the wallet and I had to accept the uh, terms and conditions there. Then I, I chose, uh, okay, I could see how much Ethereum that I've just sent to my new wallet, how much I have there, and then make sure you deposit your ETH into the bridge, but leave some ETH around in your wallet, okay, so that you, you, you have that for transaction fees. Uh, and for example, here, I'm just gonna uh, deposit 50 bucks or 0 0.031 ETH from the 0 0.039 that I sent from my MetaMask earlier, just to demonstrate to you guys. I confirmed the transaction here, and then I can wait for a few seconds for the transaction to complete and uh, just uh, pay my gas fee as usual. And uh, it confirms. And then you can see here the deposit is in transit to base already. I'm bridging that Ethereum to base. And you can also check that transaction on your uh, Ether scan, okay? 
Uh, as you can see here, the funds have already been bridged to my base wallet in MetaMask. To see my balance, I just had to switch to my base network since I was on Ethereum, sending some uh, ETH from my ETH wallet so I could bridge it to base. Now I can change the network in my MetaMask wallet from um, uh, Ethereum to base. And uh, there you can see that my 50 bucks that I just sent is now in the base network is ethereum and now i'm using base pretty much as simply as that now you can go ahead i'm just going to make a purchase of uh my gecko tokens now so to buy gecko uh which i think is one of the top meme projects with the potential to make it big on base i'm just going to connect my web3 wallet such as my uh, metamask here which now has my eth and i'm going to use uniswap as the dex to procure my uh gecko tokens okay so make sure you do that. What you need to do is make sure you enter the contract address for Gecko, okay, uh, in uh, your Uniswap so that you can see you are getting the right token. And uh, as you can see here, because uh, it is still a new coin, it will give you that, uh, you know, warning that it's not uh, uh, a token that's already like being traded on many major centralized exchanges, which is why you should always try to get in early on these projects, guys. So I'm going to swap my 50 bucks of uh, ETH uh, on the base network and I'm going to get myself 155,205 Gecko tokens right there. I'm going to pay a little bit of gas fees, which is at uh, 13 cents on base that's why it's an ethereum layer 2 solution because the fees are considerably lower than what we paid earlier on just to bridge to uh, base right on the ethereum network which was a little bit more expensive there and as you can see guys the gas fee very minimal my swap has already been submitted and i can also go and confirm this now on base scan okay which is uh, the block explorer for the base network I used Etherscan before when we were bridging using Ethereum network. Now I'm using base scan. And once you get that confirmation, it will also pop up on your Uniswap interface. And at the, uh, as a final step, just make sure you add uh, uh, the token itself, Gecko token, to your uh, MetaMask so you can see it reflect in your wallet. Uh, paste the contract address that you used earlier on. And you can see here I imported the token and my Gecko is now showing in my wallet right there so congratulations if you are following this step-by-step -step guide you're now part of the gecko community and you now know how to bridge your assets to the base network remember all gecko tokens are also in a liquidity pool that's unlocked forever ensuring that there's a fair and secure trading environment and there you have it guys this is a complete guide on how you can get started on coinbase's new blockchain base where some of the hottest projects like Gecko are launching. And once again, go to Gecko Way and uh, you'll be able to uh, see what this project is all about. So it's a Gecko Way dot i o and uh, let me know what you guys think and this project is fascinating not only because it's on course to be one of one of the biggest meme coin projects maybe on base remember it has a whole lot of cool things going for it this locked liquidity the lp tokens are burned forever no chance of a rag everything is verified on chain it's a fair launch no pre-sale no team allocations all tokens are minted and placed in the liquidity pool on launch Holding Gecko tokens is also living by the Gecko way, making sure us guys in the crypto industry, especially in times like this when there's not a lot of market movements, we're staying prosperous, having a little bit of fun, having a little bit of humor and uh, respect for each other. And if a uh, base uh, network continues to grow and Gecko becomes one of those top meme coins, it might just make us a whole bunch of bags in the future. So the team is anticipating to take the uh, the project also to a, a good high enough market cap, maybe 50M or above, uh, and also just drive uh, sort of adoption to the base network. And they are hoping to have over 200,000 holders of this Gecko token. Liquidity is moving from Coinbase to the base network. Holding Gecko tokens could be one way you could potentially benefit from this growth. So you're super early. And uh, they also say that they have a three-year marketing plan. So I'm hoping this is not a main project that's just going to be here today and gone tomorrow. They are literally trying to make sure they become the next Shiba, the next Dogecoin, but on the base network. And uh, remember, guys, uh, make sure you do your own research. I don't want to see anyone complaining in the comments. 
uh, you know that I'm not a financial advisor. I just try to give you things and uh, that I'm personally interested in, that I'm uh, vouching for. So make sure you do your own research. Cryptocurrencies in general can be risky. So you should also make sure you do your own research and uh, stay based, okay? Let me know, be part of the Gecko community. Be part of the base movement. Hey, who knows if uh, Coinbase actually does end up uh, airdropping a token. You might just be one of those lucky people to get it because you've used the base network. A lot of people don't know how to make free money, easy money in the crypto space. And a lot of times it's airdrops, man. You've got to be a supporter of a lot of these developments, especially these new networks and things like that. I've got an Abitron bag. You saw the video. Um, and uh, I'm just trying to line myself up for a base airdrop if it ever does launch i'm not saying that it is but if it does i've already played around in the ecosystem i'm in the gecko community if we go to the moon with our meme coin this is gonna be nice let me know what you think guys and don't forget to check out the links in the description to my books tokenized trillions blockchain applied DeFi millionaire is a free download uh, talks about everything decentralized finance go to defi-millionaire.com join our telegram our discord server like share subscribe man turn on the notifications i will be seeing you in the next video Let's go!